So, ladies and gentlemen, we have been very successfully doing this series of planets from Venus. And we'll do it for the rest of the planets also. We have discussed about the ninth house from Venus. Also, we discussed about the fifth house from Venus. But today we are going to discuss on a very important house. Of course, every house is important. But this house is specifically important uh, in today's scenario because uh, today people are having uh, more than one relationships. Most of the people, they either have more than one relationships or they have more than one marriages or they have a relationship, then a different marriage and then they might have another relationship and they might have another marriage. So this holds true for uh, most of the people in Kaliuga, as Kaliuga is uh, degrading uh, as it's going down day by day. Uh, these things are increasing, unfortunately. So uh, it becomes very crucial that we discuss about this house, which is the 12th house. Yes, not from the Ascendant, you're right, from Venus. Because uh, the 12th house from Venus is a very crucial house. Uh, it tells us what do we actually carry on to the next relationship that we go ahead? You may not see this like uh, like something from one relationship to the next. Necessarily, you can also see it like this. Suppose something uh, happened to you when it comes to relationships. Something good or something bad. How do you take that and uh, to what extent do you carry that to your uh, future? Or what ex to what extent do you bring the good and bad of the past from your relationships to your present? Because 12th house has to do with the past. What's there at the back of your mind always? So therefore, and many times people have asked me during this series, well, you're talking of 5th from Venus, 9th from Venus, uh, but I do not have a planet there. Like you may not have a planet in 12th from Venus. So then what do you do? Well, uh, I already said many times, you have to check where is the 12th Lord from Venus placed, okay? So that planet will give you clues or you can also see what is that sign which is in the 12th from Venus? What is the dignity of the 12th Lord from Venus? Or which planets are aspecting the 12th house from Venus? These planets and these placements will also give you good clues to how your 12 from Venus can function, right? So that's what we shall discuss today. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, you can go to my website. You will find the link to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time, even if there are malefics in 12 from your Venus and he will help you. Don't worry, just look to him and you will find him. So we know what is the 12th house from Lagna. 12th house from the Ascendant shows our sleeping patterns. Malefics in 12th, sleep is ruined. Okay, Male More than one malefic, uh, very difficult. Insomnia, anxiety, panic attacks, bad adrenal glands of the body. There could be problems with your thyroid. There could be problems with your uh, nervous system. Your autonomic nervous system may not be uh, functioning properly. If the 12th house is not properly uh, situated or uh, to be specific the parasympathetic nervous system which is a uh, part of the autonomic nervous system may not be functioning because that has to do with uh, you know, rest uh, resting and digestion of food and calming down your system basically that puts you to sleep that um, helps the overall body so therefore it's very crucial to see What's going on in the 12th house? 12th house helps you to rejuvenate. See, what does the 12th house do? The 12th house prepares you for the next day, basically. So when you are sleeping, what is happening? You are rejuvenating yourself and you are getting ready for the next day. So it is like whatever happens today, you kind of dissolve it. <laughs> you absorb it. 12th house is also absorption. That is why it is Pisces. That's why it's uh, a water sign. You have to have the capacity to absorb things in life. If you cannot, uh, well, then that's a problem. So then what happens is your sleep gets hampered. 
if the twelfth from the ascendant has a malefic, then sleep gets hampered. And so, what does it mean when you sleep? Your sleep gets hampered. It means you are not able to sleep, which means you are not able to digest what happened today, or maybe even yesterday, or maybe even months back, or years back. Sometimes, oh, this thing happened five years back, and from that day itself, I lost my sleep. Now you may be wondering, this was a video on 12th house from Venus. Why am I talking about 12th house from the Lagna? That's exactly what happens with Venus. So if the 12th house from the Ascendant helps you to rejuvenate and digest all the positivity and the negativity of the world and prepare you for the next day, the same thing is happening when you see the 12th from Venus. The same functions apply, the same protocols, the same behavioral traits will come out. Okay. So suppose something good happened in your relationships, something bad happened. How well do you digest it? Or you feel overwhelmed? Now, I'm not saying that you won't be disturbed mentally. I'm not saying that. But are you disturbed uh, and then you recover from it? Or you're like, oh my God, that happened, you know, how could this person do like this? How could he or she do that? I just can't forget it. Neither can I forgive him or her. That's it. That's the end of the relationship. That is what the 12th from Venus tells you. And the 12th from Venus also tells you, you'll always see many, most of the times you will see people with a afflicted 12th house from Venus. Oh, yes. And by the way, uh, many times people were writing in the comments, okay, I have this planet here, I have this lagna. Sorry, uh, there's no spoon feeding here, okay. So you'll be disappointed because I won't talk of any planets here, okay. So if you have, uh, many times you will see if there are malefics from 12th from uh, where your Venus is placed, uh, then people have a tendency to speak very badly about their ex-partners, Okay. They will say, oh, my ex was a bloody loser. He was this, he was that. She was like this. She was the worst girl to have ever lived. You know, He was the most criminal-minded narcissist that I have ever lived. You know? They will say like this about their ex. Well, uh, what, what people forget is that they may be the, the person who they were talking of. Maybe now they may hate them. Now, for, for their current situation, they may be their X, Y, or Z. But at that point of time, you had entertained them. Do not give excuses for your irresponsible behavior. If they were so bad, if they were the most terrible person of this planet, then why in the universe did you entertain them? Why did you stay with them for so long? <laughs> Why did you do that? Because it was your decision. So if you made that decision at that point of time to stay with them, either that was one day, one week, one month, one year, or 10 years, you have no damn right to insult them because it was your choice, right? Nobody forced you. So if you have a planet in 12 from Venus, which is a functional malefic or a natural malefic, or or if a planet is uh, in bad dignity, suppose. Suppose you have a debilitated uh, moon. Suppose your Venus is in Sag and you have moon in Scorpio. So then whichever planet is in the 12th from Venus, if that planet is in debility, you will always keep criticizing your current partner for something which he or she did in the past regarding that planet. So in this case, as I said, if moon is in Scorpio, then you might be saying, oh, this person had uh, not taken care of my emotional side sometimes. Okay, this person did this, this person did that, this person was emotionally unavailable. Even if that was 100 years back, you will still keep saying that. Okay, this is something which you cannot forget. This is something which you cannot forgive the person for because, uh, as I said, 12th house shows the things which sink in. That has that that uh, rate is so badly <laughs> affecting you that you are not able to digest it, okay? Which means you have lost your sleep because of that. Sleep, maybe you are physically sleeping, but when it comes to Venus, it's like you have never slept. Imagine a person who has not, not slept for one full year. Of course, you will die, but imagine if there would be a person who would be alive. How would that person be? Oh my God, can you just believe it? How 
angry cranky frustrated and anxious and pessimistic that person would be because that person has not rested for one full year so that same thing happens with venus bodily maybe you are resting because the 12th house from your ascendant may give you sleep but if there are malefics in the 12th from venus then you might feel as if you have not rested which means you are not yet over your uh, x y or z <laughs> and then you have a tendency to bring all the crap from the past you throw all your insecurities like for example if you were cheated by your spouse in the past and your 12th house from venus is badly placed then what happens oh maybe this person is also cheating now if your 12th from venus is well placed it is good then what happens is even if those traits come to your present relationship you do not give in to those insecurities okay otherwise you will always uh, punish your current spouse for the wrong doings of your ex always bad wealth from venus it's the worst placement actually because your spouse will be punished for the things that they never did to you or to anybody else <laughs> even if they have done but you will give them uh, it's like compound interest no compound punishment because you could not punish your ex you are frustrated you are angry you are disgusted you are you can't forgive your ex and that is why now what do you do who's there with you your current <laughs> ex is not there so why is there so why not punish this why right so you will punish your spouse for all the wrong doings of your ex so you will make your spouse pay for all the mistakes that somebody else did to you <laughs> all right so therefore whenever i do kundli milan or you know matching of all this if i see that a man or a woman has had uh, one or two breakups before their marriage because <clears throat> not as if somebody is getting married through arranged marriage uh then 99% of the times or 99 i would say at least 80 to 90% of the times they have they had been into relationships and they had a breakup they couldn't sustain the relationship that is why now they are going and marrying somebody else okay uh, so then it becomes very important to check uh what's there in the 12th from venus because then it could happen that this person is unable to forget the past forget the negativity from the past and still keeps uh, bringing that to some another person who is totally new who has no fault in that okay so therefore now uh, if you feel that you are unable to give up your grudges and negativity and all the fault finding and all the poison which has been there inside looking <laughs> then maybe your 12th house from venus needs some help okay so therefore it's very crucial that you protect this house you improve this house by doing mantras and remedies pertaining to that house or that planet or those varas like if uh, as i said if venus is in sag then 12 from venus is scorpio then some worship of lord narsing dev or tuesday fasting you know ekadashi fasting these are things which you can do okay of course that depends on your chart what you have to do at the end <coughs> but um you can see which planets are placed and what are the natural traits of that planet what does mercury represent if mercury is there if mercury is badly placed it could mean that there is always problems in communication okay something some bad communication was there in the past you always bring up that issue currently you just can't forget oh you said like this or whatever that planet is all right and if if there are malefics it makes the situation bit worse because uh malefics anyways represent grudge you know saturn represents constant complain it's like the complaints are never ending the blame game never stops oh my god this bloody person is so horrible but yet i stay <laughs> right so therefore and if rahu is there then some somebody cheated you in the past maybe or not or you felt as if that person is uh doing something else behind your back and then you bring all the crap to your present relationship and you ruin the life of your spouse okay so before you get married or you get into a new relationship 
understand that if you punish others for mistakes of somebody else, then nature will punish you also, okay? So if somebody has done something wrong with you, understand that it is because of our own karma that it has happened and we do not have to reconnect with that person, okay? But there are two things which we should stop immediately. Blaspheming that ex, not very good, okay? Anybody who does this, I have seen in my experience, whichever friend, either male or female, whoever has been criticizing their ex, they have never had good married lives. Never, never, never. It may seem they are having good married lives, but the moment I hear from their mouth that they have been abusing their ex, X or Y or Z, <laughs> notice this X, Y, Z and uh, Alpha, Beta, Gamma. <laughs> so that tells me how, uh, how they see, because see, what it means when you criticize your ex, it means that you actually disrespect, you are not disrespecting themselves, you are disrespecting yourself actually. Why? Because it is you who decided to stay with this person. So the problem was not with them, the problem was with you. Now you may say, but they were always criminals. That's fine, they, are, they were criminals. Maybe they are still criminals, but why did you stay? So if you stayed, then it is your own decision. It's your free will. Do not blame anybody else, all right? So... Do not bring in the negativity in the current relationships. Or if you are already within a relationship and you never had any other relationship, you were, this was the first relationship and you got married to that person, then don't bring negativity from the past with that same partner. Right? This can happen from an old to a new relationship or within one relationship, it could happen uh, that you bring up things from the past. Okay, So therefore, do not do this and do not blaspheme your uh, X, Y, Z, all right? <laughs> okay, and do not bring up the negativity in your current relationship, all right? So therefore, if you do this, then um, you will see that you're 12 from C. Uh, because what happens if you keep abusing your past partners, then you will also abuse your current partner for the mistakes which they have done in the past, okay? So, so actually what is happening, the person has changed Earlier it was your ex, now it's your present partner. But the tendency inside you to criticize and blame them and find fault has not changed. So therefore, even if your spouse is the perfect boy or girl in this world, you will always find some faults because there's nobody perfect in this world except there's one person. Who is that? Yes, Lord Vishnu himself. He is the only one who is perfect. There is nobody like him, all right? As Krishna says in the Gita, there's... Uh, nobody equal to or above me. This is what Krishna says. Okay. So that will be all from my side. Get rid of these bad habits. Do spiritual practices and learn forgiveness. Learn tolerance. Okay. Understand that that was a karmic lesson which you had to learn. It is because of your own karma. Nobody is to be blamed. It is your own karma. Okay. And move on. Okay. <laughs> all right. Of course, that's easier said than done. But you have to do it. Otherwise, they will hamper your present relationships. And one day your spouse currently who is there with you will abandon you and you will be left all alone in this material world. All right. That will be all from my side. Thank you very much for your patience. And uh, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, please go to your, my website down below in the description section. Okay. God is there with you all the time. He will help you irrespective of who is sitting there in the 12th from Venus. Okay.